pictures, I think is you would enjoy it more if you did some walking with me. But first, I want to hear a little bit about you. You do? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 They want the scoop. They want to know about your life. Do you really? Yes. 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 They don't want to know. No. Yes. When I talk to our dog, I don't want him to, her to do something. I don't know. <laughs> and you all remember that. Okay. Well, I was born in Oshkosh. I grew up in Chicago. Uh, uh, it's always doing some art. In fact, my mother said when I was very little, she took me to the toy store. I always picked out the most expensive dolls. So I was born with really good taste. <laughs> <laughs> and it's gone away, but I work on it. So I uh, went to the Steinmetz High School and took art there. Uh, had various teachers. I had one that we had a contest uh, with figure of you know, dresses and all, and I put one in. It was a lovely dress, evening gown with straps. And my teacher wouldn't accept it because she said women's underpits were ugly. So I've, I've had all kind of experiences. I, I didn't believe her, but anyway, that's the way it was. So I went on to Wilbur Junior College. I didn't do much of art there. And uh, when I was married, uh, we basically lived in California, which was, uh, are some of you from California? California was, was wonderful, and I understand still is, about school, so you could take a whole semester of credit for $5. You used to be able to go <laughs> one class for $5. And so I, I signed up for a couple. One was a figure drawing again, which I became enamored of, and the other was outdoor landscape. And I promised my husband I would drop one of them because he was babysitting while I was doing this, but I, I never dropped either one. <laughs> I, well, I, I had a little bit of sneakiness in me. So that, that was uh, uh, quite a while ago. Uh, is there any questions so far? When did you come to this? I have hard of hearing, so if there is talk about it. Obviously, I didn't hear what you said. <laughs> okay. When did you come to this area? Well, we came to this area because my husband was transferred. He worked in California, TRW, and we moved here, gosh, it's 56. been seven years ago. Oh, wow. No, 53 years ago. 1956. Oh what? 1956. 1956? Well, I know it was 53 years ago, and you know why? Because my son is 57, and he was born then. So <laughs> that's a scientific way of figuring it. <laughs> oh, well, that's, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not good about numbers, but I, I can figure things out. But you paint beautifully. What? You paint beautifully. Thank we you. love your artwork. Thank you. Well, when I came here, I transferred here, I met Nancy Strange Seep. I'm sure you, some of you have heard of her name. Wonderful teacher. And we'd go outdoors and paint, and I got into painting and started seeing shows and doing shows. And that, that was grand, and I won some awards. And, uh, but I basically, I loved doing it. I met uh, Pat Jocelyn. A uh, good friend, she introduced me to the Art Students Guild. Have any of you heard of the Art Students Guild? Okay, well, then you know what a great place it is. And uh, up there I met a lot of, well, people that were like draws like. I guess you call them cohorts or whatever. So that, that part was great. And we would go out and paint, or we'd have still lives and models. And one of my big things has always been to make models. And uh, I, I don't know particularly why. Some things you just do and enjoy. And in this show, I know that there are some nudes because I've sold them to people, and I know some people have brought them up here. That That is where we're talking about the next week that I'm going to uh, do a small class on uh, blind contour and gesture. 
And this is where doing the nudes ties in. And when we walk around, I'll point it out to you and explain to you how I felt about it. Now, I put in, when I draw it all, I put in part of me. I draw and I think about it. I cannot be a precise artist. And it's just everyone is different. My daughter couldn't understand a long time ago, we went to one of the art shows, why I couldn't draw these cards that were in there like other artists did. I said, I physically cannot because my mind doesn't work that way. So part of your art is inherent. It's part of you. Are there any questions so far? You all bite what, I buy what I say. <laughs> yeah, good. Good audience. <laughs> so, anyway, we got through that. I was divorced, and I worked even harder. I did uh, Disney, did profiles, and I, I know that there's a couple of profiles that I did of Disney, and this is the neatest thing uh, that I did like Disney's. Uh, it's a good friend of mine, Doris Berlin, I did her son and her grandson, but I did them at the time. They were little kids. So it, it's pretty neat. And I, I'm sure it's here somewhere because everything I gave them, they put up somewhere. And uh, so after uh, Disney, well, yeah. Uh, I, I, uh, I didn't do Disney forever. When I, I don't remember all the next time spots. I did a lot of art shows. Uh, I did a, one of the things that I've done, and I love it, I still do, is teaching. And I've met a lot of wonderful friends that way. And a lot of the pictures here are friends that I've uh, sold things to that are my students, or have been my students. So that, that's a lot of what's I've concentrated on in the last few years. Any questions? You're not a very good audience. You're supposed to be asking questions. Gosh, aren't you ashamed? No. <laughs> no. Okay. Well, shall we go around and look at some of the oh, pictures? Please. We're with you. Which way? Or is it bigger circumference of wood? Uh, this isn't too old. This is flowers that I, my daughter gave me uh, what, a couple of years ago, and then I drew, painted on them. And uh, I believe uh, our pastor has it now. That, that is acrylic. That's one thing I should have told you that I did. I went from oil to acrylic. A lot of people are afraid of acrylic. It dries fast. But I figured out the way I spray it, the boxes I use it all, that I can handle that very well. I like it because it's very manipulative. I can paint, I can paint on top of it. If I make a mistake, I can paint over it. Now, I love oil and I have oil here too. But this is for immediate and I am kind of uh, I want to do it, I want to do it right away. <laughs> uh, this one, and I, I like, this is an oil. This is not a very good light. Well, it's the best we have. Uh, this was done, gosh, uh, at least 20 years ago. And this is more, uh, I, I was careful with it. I didn't splash it around like I did this one. but. I believe it's worked out very well. And if you have any questions, please ask them. Now this is something that uh, I've done quite frequently is sunflowers. I love sunflowers. This is an oil also. And I like the, you see, it's vibrant. That's around there, I can see and feel it. And when I work, I, I feel what I'm doing. And, when I, and you will come to computer art, which is a different way of feeling. Uh, this one, I believe this one belongs to the museum, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, they use that as the cover 
for the abuse letter. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. And that's oil also. Is that on the uh, field that field? was a bouquet yes. that I got that I painted on. I, I used my studio at home for a lot of these indoor things. And we have here another sunflower. Do you work on one piece at a time? What? Do you work on one one piece at a time? Or yes. One yes. at a time. One piece at a time. I, yeah, I don't turn around and do more. I, I haven't thought about it, but I do. I just work on one at a time. <laughs> it works beautifully for you. Oh. Do, do you sketch what? on? Do you sketch on paper first? No. You just, just paint, no. Paint? I, I basically I took lessons from. Charles Schultz, William Schultz, I don't know if any of you have heard of it. Fantastic <laughs> impressionist teacher. And when he taught us to do it, I don't always do it, but I did it first. You draw on the canvas with soft by charcoal. You get the thing, and if it doesn't work, you can wipe off soft by charcoal and do it again. And so that's how it works. Then I draw it with yellow ochre. And to, uh, excuse me, to spot it in. With the sulfide charcoal, I will sketch it and do my light and dark values because in painting, light and dark values are very important. Uh, okay, now this is... Okay. I'll, I'll read it. Oh, I, okay, oh, it belonged to Louise Sheffield. It's called Reflections. And that was done a long time ago. And that was done in my home. I've got a camp light be behind it. And when you, we have better lighting, you, you'll be able to see these better. But you see the gesture that I've got in it, the feeling that comes in these paintings. Uh, Sometimes I'll have a from feelings. Now this one is also. Do any of you have any questions? Mildred, I have. A, I'm, I'm fielding a question. Here, here I am. Well, you're going to have to talk here. louder. Okay. Somebody's okay. asking okay. why there's so much space at the bottom. Because that's what I did. It's part of your composition. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I can't say, oh, I made a mistake, Jackie. No, no, no. <laughs> I know that. I, I know I that. So. But some people, you know, some people, they don't understand why um, sometimes it's more interesting to have things off center or to have things not in the right. expected spots. You're right. Do, do you start with one corner? No, I don't. Uh, the center? You know, it would have been even help, more helpful if I was giving you a demo, but we didn't think of that. Okay, because you're right, you're asking good questions. Uh, no, when I look at uh, a still life or anything, I will look at it. Uh, usually I use the soft by charcoal because I can wipe and do so much. I will look at still life and I will go draw here and put some square in and I'll block it the whole thing up very simply at first. And then I start building up on it. The soft by charcoal, as I've said, is so easy to play with and helps give me a good composition. Composition is very important. Now, as I said, now she made a good point. I've got a lot of white right in there. And possibly that could bother. And very, very well, I, I might have wanted to put some fruit in there. But let, Incidentally. Let me, let, me, let, let me just clarify something. See, well, I, I, had, no, I, I had asked her about that because the thing that I, I, my vision, against your vision, of course, you're the artist. But I looked at this one, and I said, gee whiz, I'd like to see the top of the, of the flowers, because there's so much space on the bottom. But you didn't want to do that. Well, I, I didn't think about it. Which one are you talking about? <laughs> top of the flowers, I think. Well, I, uh, oh, I like the idea of the interesting. Interesting. swirl coming through here. Mm -hmm. Some people have to have everything in a, 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 a where they don't have that freedom to go off the 
Sometimes you have to spend what you want and you have to look at what's there and you have to respond to what you see and not what you wish you saw or I mean what I mean that when you look at art you're having a dialogue with the artist because the artist isn't there but you're having a dialogue with the work and what you have to bring to it is respect for that person's vision and then you try and try and enter that through the choices they made. And don't forget respect. I go out to Ballard Park to paint. When, when I do landscapes, I. Uh, I go to the exact site. Now, let's see. Uh, that's Mark Kuhls. Uh, you, I don't know yes. if you've heard of Mark yes. Kuhls. Oh, She's yes. a wonderful yes. artist. Yeah. And uh, the fact that she would buy a picture of mine mm -hmm. is very flattering. Now, how long did it take you to do this? You painted on site. Yes, did I you did. finish it on site, one sitting? No, usually, I would come back for several sittings, okay. uh, two or three. Once in a while, I finished it on site, but no. And th these are oils. Mm -hmm. uh, when we get to uh, the watercolors and all that, there's a different story. Uh, this is the same. Now, what I've got here is the reflections, which uh, give you a feeling. It's part of the composition. I like this because of the water reflections. And one of the things you do, if you turn something upside down, not necessarily this one, but if you turn it upside down and forgot the theme and just saw the, the blocking out lights and darks, if it still works, then it's good. If it doesn't, then sometimes I will just start over again. <coughs> okay. Now, that's, really that's, really that's wonderful. Okay, this one is downtown. We need a big light for this one. Let's see what it says. Oh, it's a waterfront, and Lawrence Smeltzer, one of my students, bought that. I'll, I'll be honest with you, I'm not as crazy about this one. <laughs> I think it's lovely. I like it. I like it. No. It's very abstract. It's, it's, it looks abstract. From now on, that's an abstract one. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Now this is one that I did years and years ago, and and I love it. One of the re I think it turned out very very well. It's oil, and one of the things I liked about it. A lady came up and asked me why I was painting that boat. And uh, I said, you know, it, it was there. And she said, so? She was very abrupt. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was all right. But I, I still think of her when I see this painting. But, but I like it. I was in there, and she said, that's an old boat. And I said, well, I don't care. It made it more interesting. It did indeed. It did indeed. And, and I like that one very much. And let's see, does it get the old? John and Darcia Jones Francie. Oh, oh, yeah. Darcy. Yeah. She has. Uh, I think this one, oh, this is old one. This is oil. And who is that? Is that? <laughs> that helps. Mark and Shirley Backus. Yes, it's Shirley Backus and Mark. Yeah. So that was, I, I went by the ocean and did that. It's very hard to capture water in the ocean. Yes. Yes. You have to do it fast and it's just so, and I've done several that I've never framed or anything because I, I didn't care for them. Now that's one thing when you're painting, or any, any of you paintings, I guess you must be. Yeah. Uh, you, have to accept the fact that 
everything you do is it a child that you can't kill. <laughs> you, you could decide, uh, well, that one didn't work, and, and accept the fact. But the smart thing is, don't kill it right away, because several days later, you might really like it. No, really. We just you stick them know. under the bed. Yeah, that's right. Use it for collage later. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this one, I believe, is Ballard. Does it say Ballard Park? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I live close to Ballard Park, and, and it's a fantastic. I take students there a lot. And I do birds and all there. Do you uh, take photos to work later on in your studio? What? Oh. Do you take photos after uh, you know, yeah. your work? When you're in the studio? I believe, yeah. It's the Melbourne Causeway. Oh. Oh, this is the Melbourne Causeway. Yeah. And I won first, first place at that in the uh, at the Atlantic Art Show years ago. Do you ever take photos of the work what? and then do you ever take photos of the of the site and then work at the, your studio? No. No. No for two reasons. One of them is I don't have a good photo camera. Oh. <laughs> and that's a good one. That's a good reason. <laughs> but this one, I, uh, the man I painted with has passed away. We, st we stayed on the causeway and painted this uh -huh. as we went. And I enjoyed it, and it, it turned out, it worked good. Now, Shirley Backus owns that now, and she was telling me where she hung it. I don't know if any of you know or have been to Shirley's house. She has a two-story house, and she had it very high. And she said when she put it down lower so she could see it, she enjoyed it so much more. So when you have paintings, you, placement is very important. Uh, this one, uh, I did this, and this is amusing in a way. I did this at the Florida, uh, FIT, Air Academy, whatever, uh, the Merida. But you can't tell it because I turned my back to the water at all. I saw this vision and I did this. And I think it turned out fairly, oh, yeah. fairly it's well. It's beautiful. It's lovely. It's better than just a And I believe that uh, Dr. Peggy Rankle is in Yes. Town. Yes. Frank. Yeah, that's Peggy. Uh, and she reluctantly let me use it for the show. <laughs> well, we'll take good care of it. What? We'll, we'll take, take good care of it. <laughs> this, I don't, okay, I did this not too long ago. I believe this was. Oh, it's upside down. Okay. All right, where is it? Well, it's untitled. Uh, pine trees. Pine trees. Oh, it's Doc, Dr. Kowalski. Uh, he's one of my students. He's a lovely man. He, he took from me, but he didn't enjoy the painting, but when he did the drawing, he was wonderful. So everybody's talents in art doesn't mean basically that you could do everything in art. Some things you're more drawn to than others. And some things you're you, just easier, you know. I think emotionally they they draw you. Okay. Oh, this is one of my favorites because oh, yeah. this was done. Oh well, it wasn't done. It was done here, but it's from uh, Lorenzana, Italy. Uh, Shirley and I went there years ago. My kids gave me a trip to uh, Italy uh, for Mother's Day. And my dad was born in Lorenzana, Italy. This church is an old church, but it's Saint Egidio. And when I came, I did it. I do sketches. I've got a lot of sketchbooks, and a lot of them. I think they're all here. Jackie picked them up, took all the sketchbooks. I know. <laughs> Jackie, are you here? I'm here. Okay. <laughs> anyway, this is from one of the sketches. And I loved the. And I loved it being there. We met the people at, at Santa G. Well, Lorenzana, and they were so good to us. They uh, 
gave me coffee and uh, one man that I did though, he said in his English, my English is Italian, but he said, it wasn't good. Said, no, he said, you made an old man. I'm not an old man. <laughs> and I got him good. But anyway, this was one of my high points in my life. And this is from Greece. I visited there, and the steps coming through. And I loved that. I went with Mary Sabatalis. I got with her to Greece, Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And anyway, that, who owns this stuff? Well, mm -hmm. I can, can you see? Oh, oh it's upside down. <laughs> Don't look right, right. kids. No. Carol Sheffield. Oh, okay, that's Louise. Did you paint, what? Did you paint when you were traveling? Abroad. Yeah, well, I did watercolors, pen and ink and watercolors. I brought, I have small kits of watercolors, and I always have my Indian ink and pen ink. And this is, I believe, Bond, Bond it is. I did this from uh, sketches, and I got a feeling of rain in there because, it, and it was raining, and I stayed at a corner and I drew this. Now, this too, well, we get better lighting, you'll see it better, but it, it turned out really well. And I'm not sure if that's acrylic yet or still oil. Now, if there's any questions, just... Does this help at all? Oh, yeah, I can see it. It says oil. 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 It said oil? All right. Okay. Now this is a local scene. No, this is a curl. I have a question about it. How do you get it to look wet? How do you get it to look wet? Yeah, that really looks wet. Well, uh, I guess it's the paint, the way you mix it and put it on, what you see. What you see, when you get, uh, she's asked a question about how do you make it, get it to look wet. When you're seeing something, forget in your mind this is blue or purple or whatever. Just what you see, you put down. So if you see it and the blue is maybe a little shiny or something, you, you add it. Now one of the really neat things, excuse me, one of the neat things about it is your mind, you have to convince yourself that you're not seeing color, but the color you do actually see, not what you know it's supposed to be blue. We say, oh, all skies are blue, but all the skies have different colors in them. And it takes years to figure that one out. <laughs> oh, well, although I figured it out. It's so how did she do this so bad? What did she do? Oh, do you believe that? I'll keep going. I'll do it now. Oh, okay. This is a little local shed. I don't even think it's there anymore. Uh, I'll be honest, I'm not seeing this good. Blue Ridge Farm. Huh? Blue Ridge Farm. The Blue Ridge Mountains? Well, I thought I sold that. Well, I, I <laughs> did. Well, you you did. Susan, Susan, Truitt. Susan Truitt owns it. Okay. Yeah, a lot of these paintings came from collectors. Yeah, Blue Ridge Farm. Huh? I said a lot of them came from your collectors. I know, I know. I was just... Uh, momentarily forgot. That's okay. Uh, the Blue Ridge Mountains is where my son lives. Ah. And when I go to visit, uh, I, I, oh, this is, it be amusing to you, I suppose, in a way it was. I went out with my son, and he lives in the Shenandoah Valley, and it's beautiful, and I brought acrylics. I hadn't used acrylics much before. So I brought them, and I put all the acrylics on, on the uh, palette, and I turned around, you know, the whole palette dried because acrylics dry. Oh, Dummy didn't know it, but, but I found out. <laughs> but then I, now I'm very good at keeping them wet. I know how to spray it. 
Keeping. And also coming home and uh, doing it later. Uh, this is a church, I believe. It's Poor Richards. Oh, it says beach scene. I know. Mildred didn't title her pieces. So when collectors brought them in, they would make up their own titles. Well, it's near Melbourne Beach. What well, used to be in Melbourne Beach? Yeah, yeah. Port Richards was yeah. in Melbourne Beach. What? Richards was well, in Melbourne. so it's right, it's, it's right. I should have thought of a name of that. This, I, I, I'm sure some of you are from Melbourne Beach, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Isn't there a big? Uh, it's right by the river, uh -huh. and then across from it. I haven't been there in years, but there used to be a big uh, park like. A, yeah. yeah, yes. It's Dijon. And Dijon's you stand there and look at this is one mm. of the buildings yeah. that I saw. Right? Yeah. Dijon. It's a different restaurant now. Okay. Yeah. Well, I haven't been there in years. Yeah. Okay. Now, this is a Holden house. This is just south of us. I, I, I did that. Uh, Strawbridge Art League was having a contest. I was a day late entering it. so. John would accept it, oh, but God. that's all right. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll talk about him all the time. He'll <laughs> <laughs> learn. <laughs> no, but it, it's a good painting. Who was the person that And I stood. That is acrylic. Yes. Can you all hear me? Okay. Oh yes. Oh yes. Wonderful. All right. Uh, what does that say? Florida home on the creek, and it belongs to Peggy Rank. Okay, that's a acrylic. Peggy's got several of my things. Uh, okay, now this was, uh, obviously you see, is where we had a uh, shot. Shoot. Shuttle launch. Shuttle launch, thank you. And I did this from my sketches when I came home, and it's acrylic. And I've got it there. Uh, I, I, uh, at home, I've got the small pictures that I did, the sketch of some of the, uh, of the launch. Okay. I think it's time for me to get a drink of water or something. Okay. And uh, your card, an invitation card, and I think it looks even better on the card than it does here. No, it's <laughs> but this, this is my dining room, and I set up my easel and all in the uh, by the dining room and painted it. That's that's my old-fashioned chairs. <laughs> and well, we went to Key West one time. They were, three of those chairs were laying on the side of the uh, road, and we picked them up. So I started collecting chairs. And the one over here? And I have a crochet tablecloth on one of my students made for me. So. <clears throat> and this is another still life. Mm -hmm. It's, it's fairly decent. Let's see what it says. Untitled. Still alive with the bird. There's that little bird. See him? Oh, yeah, look at the bird. Okay. This is for me. What do we want to talk about? We've got Russia. I don't think she said she's We're going to have these open, yeah. Oh, you're going to show open. Yeah. Oh, okay. mm. You guys all up here up close? Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. What great work you well, do. Well, it's gorgeous. It's incredible. Look at what great work you do. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. You do great work. You're very so, good. Well, thank you very much. Your sketches and notations. Uh, this is. Uh, 
Texas. What I do, these, I can't find, the, I don't think they make these anymore, but these sketchbooks are marvelous. I would take it with, and uh, one of the things that's fantastic about keeping a sketchbook is that it brings back the trip to you, because you see it and it bounces into you. Uh, otherwise, a lot of your trips fade away because you, you physically cannot remember them all. But the I enjoy doing the sketchbooks, and that was an after effect. I never thought about it, but is the uh, fact. You did a lot of sketches in airports. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and well, she didn't waste her time. The, the, air, the flight. Well, I, oh, and I did one of and the people. A good yeah. friend of mine's friend when we were traveling, and she had her head on a bunk up above and holding down there. I did a marvelous picture of this hand. Oh, <laughs> Nails it all. And uh, of course, she hates it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's in my sketchbook somewhere. And then, Which country? What country? This was when you when you both drew each other. You drew this woman, and she drew you. Yeah. Well, this was in Spain, uh, and I was sitting next to her, and we were talking, and so we made a deal. I I drew her, and she drew me. Uh -huh. That's so. wonderful. And uh, as you see from the other, the, some of the paintings I did, I did from my sketch. Right. right. Will we be able to touch those? Uh, -uh. No. Uh -uh. No touching on the sketch. Well, no, they're going to be behind. Okay. They're not oh, gonna, they're going to be behind. Because yeah. it's old. So, yeah. no, no. Now, one of the things you've got to remember when you do these uh, is that everything you do is a God's gift to you. Some of it stinks. Okay. <laughs> it does. So one of the things I like about these sketchbooks is, see, they have the coil instead of yeah, tearing. Some so I can tear something out without hurting the next page. So that's one of the reasons I use that. Now, if you find out that they're still selling them somewhere, let me know. I'm going to ask Because I'll buy some more. Uh, but, and the paper is good. Now, Jerry. Oh, Jerry. you need the quality of the paper. When you're painting on flimsy paper, right. it's different than when you're painting on something that has some body to it. Yeah. And some, you, sometimes you let the grandkids draw in there too, didn't you? What? Sometimes you let the grandkids draw in there with you. Well, perhaps. Did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a small uh, watercolor box? A small? Yeah. I have several small ones. So small ones you can just put in your bag. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've got a bag that I use uh, you know, several that I carry with. And I've got big and small sketchbooks. Right. Oh, okay. You and I together. I don't remember which kid This is Elizabeth. 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 Oh, that Melissa. Melissa's 32 now. Oh my. oh my goodness. Yeah. I have old grandchildren. <laughs> Mildred is 89. Okay, there's some sketches here. How much time do you guys have? I might be using up your time. They have time, don't worry. They have plenty of time, yeah. Well, these are some small. These are watercolors. This is Greece. This is Greece. Greece. That's Mary Tamatellis. That's um, Michael and Siobhan Bacchus. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Galley River. That's the um, the hotel. The hotel that was there on the corner. Well. One of the things that I, I had, and I'm seizing the word head, uh, I had a facility for drawing fast. Now, as I use the term head is because my eyes aren't as good as they were. And I have to face that fact. I can draw possibly not as positive. I can get some gesture in. But as far as a lot of these that I've enjoyed thoroughly, I can't do as well anymore because of the eyesight. So, so then you got to do answers. No, we've got a new painting. You did a new painting for the show. Yeah, we got more. We got that room and this room. I think this.
Francis from Italy. That one's from Italy. That one's from Italy. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, I remember that one. We were sitting under, the, that was at Lorenzana too. We were sitting under a bridge and this little Italian lady was going along very angrily. And so I, I put her in there. <laughs> uh, where's this one from? That's from Grant. I know it's from Grant, but where's but he it from? Didn't, he just said house. Well, oh, it's his house. What I love. This is my daughter, uh, her wedding picture. Oh, wow. Uh, We're talking about and she, uh, she suffered by posing, <laughs> but she put up, and it, 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 it looked exactly like her. It looks exactly like she looked then. Uh, so I'm very pleased with that. And who is Michael? Michael? Is that your son? No, Michael is Shirley Backus's son. Oh, yeah. Michael Backus. Yeah. She's got a Michael too. Yeah. Uh, that, that's your son, Michael. Right. Yeah, this is Michael. It's my son who passed away six or seven years ago. I'm sorry. Uh, he was a wanderer. He hitchhiked through Europe and many things. Uh, he had kidney problems, had two kidney transplants, oh, and passed away. But he was a sweetheart. Mm. Uh, yeah. He's charming. Our teacher. Yeah. I look rather grim, don't I? Uh, I don't serious. I don't oh, the serious. The serious. The serious. The front here. Yeah, I believe that was one. The only one of my kids that wouldn't, so I did him from a picture. It's the only one I've done. And he really is quite good looking. And this is a old one. Portrait. I don't know if I know them. It's from Mark. Okay, so it must be cool. Now see, that one is more, I, I did it years ago, but it, it's more positive. It isn't as loose as so. Who is James? What? That's your son. son. Her son. Her son. From a photograph. Oh, the, it's Mark Cole. I don't know. I don't know what the name of the artist is. Okay. I haven't picked this out yet. It's your dad. Okay. Thank you. That's right. And it's it. I see it now. This is cute. I told Jackie about it. Uh, he posed for our class. This was years and years ago. And we paid him three dollars. He would not accept it. <laughs> and so I said, you have to accept it because at that time, it was a dollar an hour. So he said, all right, I'll take you out to lunch. So that's, <laughs> that's what happened. <laughs> and he was a sweet Is that from the Art Students League that he posed? The no. Art? Uh, so from he, po he didn't go to the Art Students League. Huh. I forget where it was. It was Mona Jordan's class. Do you, do you guys heard of Mona Jordan? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, she was a wonderful artist. And she, she was the one that had the class. I don't remember where it was. And this is one that uh, Grant said. It was one that uh, I don't remember where I did it, but it, the model was, this was up at the Art Students Guild. And, Smile was posing for her with her baby. So, yeah, this is oil. 
And this is what the uh, big frame of that grant. And Jose said he's making a frame for it. And Grant is your son? Grant is my son. He's my oldest son. How many children did you have? I have four. Uh, this is a candy striper. Uh, and this is Tanya Bacchus Rainwater, who of course wasn't Tanya Bacchus Rainwater, she was Tanya Bacchus when she posed. And uh, Shirley Bacchus bought it and gave it to the hospital, I believe. She posed, but she wasn't crazy about posing. Mm -hmm. I mean, she didn't want to, but Shirley convinced her it was nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, uh, this, God, that's old. <laughs> Is that Tanya too? I don't remember that. What does it say? Oh, it says Diane. Diane and Brett back as Horsley. Oh, they, they own it. But that wasn't Diane. Okay. I, I don't remember who the model was, but Diane owns it. Yeah, and this is Debbie Gerke. She's no longer Debbie Gerke, but uh, Del Gerke's daughter. And I believe she was uh, I, 12 or 15 when she posed. And I, I like that one. I think it's a very sweet one. And that is oil. Whose daughter was she? Some friend. A friend's daughter? Yeah. Del Gerke's daughter. That one looks like her. Uh, this is Shirley Baptist. And she posed. It was funny. Oh, yes. Well, because she posed for me and she'd almost fall asleep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> She claimed it was my fault. And uh, there's Grant again. We, did, we didn't really want this picture up here, but Jackie said she did, so there it is. That's what he had sideburns. Uh, uh, he's, that was years and years ago. Yes, he doesn't have sideburns anymore. He doesn't have a for you. <laughs> he's getting what she said. Uh, oh, <laughs> that's fair. Uh, this is Farrell and Robertson. One of our students. Okay, I have a done. This was old. What's it say there? Whoops. Just says waiting, and it belongs to Judy Roach. Okay, well. Oh. Now this uh, this is what I really like. This is Melissa, my granddaughter. Uh, <laughs> she was out working, picking leaves and all, and I I did and the best thing I like is her face there and the reflection you see coming in the back. Uh, the painting. I, I think it's a very good painting. And her mother owns that. Okay, this is one of the newer ones. Uh, Me and myself. <laughs> what does it say? Me and myself. Well, I figure it's a self-portrait in a way. Yes, it's right. It, it looks like, like a different style of your... Yeah, somebody... Oh, okay, somebody else. Okay. I think my son said these. These are just sketches. Yeah. 
our sketches. What is this one? A nude. Well, a nude. I know, but I can't yeah. see it good. You okay. can probably, hopefully, you can see it better. Yes. It's, it just says a seated what? nude with hat. Oh, this one I like. Yeah, that's what I like a lot. Uh, that belongs to Lois Middle. But she has that at her bathroom. And this is another one that belongs to the Middlemans. That belongs to the Middlemans. Uh huh. <coughs> well, hopefully the light will be better. Some of these need need lights. I can't explain it because I don't see it. Digital art. Dig okay. Digital art? Yeah, I've got it's coming. Computer art. See, this is just a sketchy thing. Okay, this is computer art. This is computer. Yeah, yeah, I'll see. You Somebody. do this on the computer? Yeah. I draw with the mouse. Everybody asks me. And that's what I do. What I program? Huh? What program? My program. I use my hand. I just draw with the mouse. I don't use a program. I, and, and possibly I should, but I don't. So you're using Microsoft? Micro, what? Yeah. You go Where do you Microsoft go? Microsoft Office? Microsoft? Uh, I just... Do you do it in uh, Word? I'm kind of dense about this. All I do is put the uh, the art program up. And Which I, art? What is the art program? Me. She. I don't she has her own art. Program. Program. Okay, you have. Okay. I I just do me. You see, this is especially. You see that? Is that weird? Yeah. Okay, that's. I sketch around it. Oh, I have Michael, my one son, had up enlarged and framed. And it's, it's not paint. cheap, so I did do a lot of it. Paint. But it's you see, with, one of the it's neat things paint. about doing acrylic art <clears throat> is it's so manipulative. You can sketch it, you can eradicate it, uh, you can put color in it, and if it doesn't work, blank it out, right. put some other color in it, and then you got bugs going around. <laughs> and, and I did it basically because I enjoyed doing it. That's Michael fun. had it framed for me. That's fun. You know what that cost? It's incredible. Well, the, just the framing, uh, it was two hundred and fifty dollars. Oh yeah, wow. the frame for the frame. Now, how did you print that? You I, did that I, on the I, computer. I, how did you print it? I didn't. Well, in, in your computer, you print it. But the printing is the paper is not that large. No, you take it to. Uh, an office, uh, I went to Office Depot. Okay, all right. And, and, and then have it. them printed. I love that. And this is another one. Now, I've got these. In fact, I've made cards with them. It's so beautiful. Oh, Do they have Michael cards Michael decided yourself? he would you print, have that, that print. John. John does that. You have huh? cards. Oh, yes, but not you see, And the neat thing is, you see, you've got the little buddies. Yeah. And what I've done there is I've just sketched and tried different ways of doing it. And if it works, it's fine. And I've done this in black and white. I mean, you know, I've got the colors. And I've done reverse. So. Okay. I don't even remember that one. What's it say? Reclining uh, nude with reclining nude oh, by the mirror. Uh -huh. And it belongs to Donna Lee Crawford. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, it's Nancy Crawford's daughter. Okay, now this nude is acrylic. Yes, it just says reclining nude yeah. acrylic. That's uh -huh. all. And that was scrubbed in. And I like it. It's different. Mm -hmm. 
so food. Okay, this is about birds. This is all about birds. <laughs> how did you get those? How did you get those birds to stand still for you? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> what you do, and uh, I've been pretty adept at, uh, as I see them, I scrub in, and I can remember shades at all. Okay. Uh -huh. it's, it's a question of doing and doing, and you, your mind will take over. And don't be afraid to fail. That's one of the big keys. Don't be afraid to fail. <laughs> Those make what the mark says. That's oil. Oh, oh, this one. This is the one. Yeah. Like what does it say? Storks. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It belongs to Marlis Newman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, Marlis bought that. Yeah. Acrylic. I love that. Okay, this is my latest one. Oh, I did that in Hope. Uh, this one was done within the last month. Oh, and wow. this is the piece. And it, it needs more light to see it. But I worked and worked on this. Not so much on these two, but this guy. I kept working on with water. This is obviously, it's acrylic. And he's got, he got a, kind of a perky personality. Yes, yeah, he's got a personality yeah. for sure. I don't think I'd want to get too close. Yeah. Well, do you think he's rather formidable, huh? Yes. He's in the wild oh. dangerous. It's, it's domestic. Seems like there were more nudes that were. These are all the nudes that people brought in. Yeah. So. What's a jacket? Here she is. Yeah. Here. Well, weren't there more nudes brought in? No, this was it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, Mildred. Does anybody have any questions? No questions? Yeah.